All right, guys, I want to introduce one of our labs here, one of our classes here. This is our biotech class, which is a new class here at Lafayette High School. And I got with me two of Lafayette's finest, Cal and Haley. And uh, they're going to demonstrate the root beer lab that they did in class. Now, Cal, tell us about the root beer lab. What are we doing? Uh, we are basically making root beer using fermentation. And, uh, it's using fer what process? Uh, fermentation. What's the fermentation do in this lab? Fermentation. Alcohol and CO2. So we're making actual alcoholic beverage? Please no. tell me no. No. Okay, we are not making alcoholic beverage, folks. <laughs> so what's the al so what does the yeast do in this process? Well the yeast eats the sugar, which it, it pretty much splits apart um, the C twelve or C6H12. Sugar. Yeah. And then um, it takes it through the electron transport chain. Okay. And Turns it into ethyl alcohol and or and CO2. So there technically is alcohol, but it's not fermented to the point of which like it'll. Affect it's a very small amount, and it's not going to affect you. So the CO2, what does that do for the root beer? The root, um, it carbonates the root beer. Ah, so we're making a carbonated beverage. All right, well let's get this lab going. Show us how it's done. So the first and walk us through the process. First thing we're going to do is we're going to measure um, 25 milliliters of spring water and we're going to heat that on a heating plate okay. to 37 degrees Celsius, which is about body temperature. All right, let's heat it up. So that's not much. That's too much. Wow, that is not much yeast at all. No, wait, that's, yes. that's going to be hard to get exact. That's such a small amount. And that's all we need? Yeah. What would happen if you use more? It would like a little more or a lot more. What would happen? It would make them, um, but yeah, it would make it stronger. And actually, if we would let the root beer sit longer, it could actually expose the bottle. Oh, okay. And it would become. So there'd be too much carbonation in the bottle, and the bottle would pop. So what's the best thing about this biotech class, Cal? What do you like about biotech class? Because this is a new class here at Lafayette High School. Um, I like that it's different from all my other classes because we're not just sitting around all day. Okay. Um, we get to get up, move around, and really just have fun by doing science. You do lots of labs? Yeah, we do a lot of labs, and the application to all this uh, goes towards uh, college credits for BCTC as well. Oh, okay, as so you can get a, you're getting college credit for this class. Yes. Awesome. Haley, what do you like about Biotech? I like that um, as soon as we get done with high school, we take a class at BCTC, then we are certified to work in any biotech lab across the state. And I just think that's very cool that you'll have a job there at college. Very good. All right, so what's in the bottle here? What's in this? This is root beer extract. Okay. Um, after we mix, diluted the, uh, the yeast and the spring water, we're going to add two milliliters of root beer extract to flavor the root beer. Okay, there you go. So when you, so what are we going to do with this after we mix it up and add the sugar? What are we going to do later? What's, what's going to happen to it? We're going to mix it with... Um, a sugar and water solution and then after we heat both of those to 37 degrees Celsius again, we'll place it in a drinking bottle okay. and we'll let it sit while the fermentation takes place. And how long does that take? It takes about a, a day. Okay. We'll let it sit longer to have it be more carbonated, but it actually explodes the water bottle. Well, we don't want to do that. That'll make a mess. <laughs> that, that's sweet. Yeah, that's wow. sweet. That's like a tablespoon. Yeah, if it's not sweet, then like if you don't put so enough, ten times that. Yeah, if you don't put it's enough, that's uh, a lot of sugar. But it'll be for this one. <laughs> yes. It's very bitter otherwise. So is this is this common for like a soft drink to have this much sugar in it? Yeah, they're not very healthy for you. So when you're drinking a soft drink, wow, that's a. So yeah, to put it in perspective. When we show you how much sugar is on this, it's about the same that's in a say, a Mountain Dew or something. <laughs> wow. So I'm only halfway there. You're not going to have enough room on the paper. It's going to start falling off. Yeah. Well, I think that's as, it. That's as important learning as anything else is how much sugar is in a typical beverage. And that's what you're doing here. You're creating a typical beverage. 
And that's how much sugar is in the normal Mountain Dew or Coke or this Pepsi is, or anything. This is only one. Whoa. So that's as much sugar as in a typical soft drink. Yes. Wow. The procedure is glycolysis. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I'm not familiar with that. That's how much sugar. <laughs> That's a lot of sugar in a soft drink. All right, so then we have to we have to dilute that in the water. So what do you, what do you think you learned from this lab, Haley? What do you think you learned from this lab? Um, I one of the main purposes was learning how to set up a lab notebook and how to really record everything you do and the importance of keeping it. And we also learned the process of fermentation. Okay, Cal, what do you think you learned from this lab? Basically, Although you were absent, you didn't get a chance to do that in real life. But so I now we're in the middle of it. And so, what what uh, what are you getting out of the lab? Um, or what did you? For the most part, I feel like it's more important to realize that this is a basic lab, and it's really important because you can set up your lab notebook with it. And with the lab notebook, it, it shows you the real importance of doing science, especially outside of school, because you can get sued. Um, <laughs> for doing things incorrectly. So as long as you record everything you have, you know where you went wrong. So following the correct procedures, keeping track of your data, this is the lab that just really supports that. Carefully. Yeah. yeah, don't spill it. So there's yeast in here, sugar in here, and water. Is there anything else? Um, um, the there will be. That's that over there, right? Okay. And besides that, that's, that's it, huh? Looks pretty gross right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not too appetizing. <laughs> Just mixing it up. Okay. And then we're gonna hold it down to make sure there's not a not any space in the cap. Okay. That way the CO2 can build up. To be sure the CO2 doesn't leak out some pinhole. Yeah. Okay. All right. And that's all we do until tomorrow. Yeah. No, we let it sit. Okay. Well, we're gonna be back tomorrow to test the uh, taste the root beer and see what it's like. Let's check out Miss Sumner and see about the biotech class. All right, this is Ms. Sumner. She's the teacher for our biotech class. Ms. Sumner, tell me about, so this is a new class, a new class. at Lafayette this year. Tell me about the class. Um, so biotechnology is offered uh, to students here at Lafayette High School, and it's a program that BCTC puts on, which okay. is the community college here in Lexington. And um, they gave me the opportunity to offer college this college course to high school students, and they actually get 15 college credits 15. 15 college credits. That's for like a whole semester. It is. Isn't wow, that crazy? that's yeah. a great opportunity for so our kids. So they get a lab calculations course, they get okay. biotechnology one and two, and then they get a senior practicum, which they actually get to go out in the field and either uh, some of the opportunities are paid okay. as high school students, lab okay. technicians, and some of them are unpaid, but they give the students um, opportunities to work in the lab. And this is a one year class or two this year class? This is a so. This is the first year we're offering biotechnology. The second year will be the senior practicum, so it, it. is two years. Got it. Um, so you get the so all 15 year. credits. What, if they only, what happens if they only took one year work? It would be 12 credits. Oh, so that senior wow. practicum is only three credits, but it also gives them a um, certification, a biotechnology industry cert that allows them to um, have the experience uh, to work in a lab and know exactly what's expected of them. Um, so it gives them kind of a, a leg up. Well, we're going to come back tomorrow and we're going to test the root beer. So we'll see you then. Awesome. All right, everybody, we are back. Root beer lab, day two. 48 hours later, we've got some root beer in here. Now, what should what should it feel like here? I mean, is that, is that enough? Um, I, I don't think there's enough CO2 in there. Okay, is that, what do you think? Enough pressure? I don't think it's enough pressure, but okay. So the point of the pressure is that's what builds up the carbonation. And it may not be enough. Uh, we're getting ready to find out. It's been 48 hours. Hadn't quite been as warm in this room as it was in the original lab, so maybe didn't expedite uh, or process or ferment. Right, but if like we hear, could. if we hear like a sound, when we, yeah, when we open the top, then we know that at least there's some CO2 in there, yeah. which there should be, right? Yeah, I mean, it we can feel a little. It's a little bit firmer yeah. than it was before. All right, we're going to give this a go. We all got the cups with ice in it. We're going to give it a go. Give it a taste test. Here we go. 
Ooh, not much. <laughs> no, no, oh, we're making a mess here. Whoa, splashing everywhere. There we go. All right. Get it nice and cold. All right, we'll see how the root beer goes. All right, taste test. Cheers. One, two, three, cheers. All right. Smells like caramel and vanilla. Not Mostly much vanilla. No, not a lot of carbonation. But it's sweet. So that was plenty of sugar, I think. It almost tastes like tea. Yeah, tea. it kind of tastes like sweet tea. Which is, yeah, root, root tea. tea which go. was the original name, yes. root tea. Yes. Root tea. All right, everybody, that's the Root Beer Lab. Lots more labs in the biotech class. If you're interested in a biotech class, you can sign up when you sign up for your courses if you meet the requirements in January. Thank you, Ms. Sumner. Thank you. Thank you, Haley. My pleasure. Thank you, Cal. All right. Thank you. Hey there, General Nation. I just want to truly thank you for the many positive comments I've received. So many from parents, from teachers, and from you too, students as well. I truly appreciate it. I'm using this channel to promote Lafayette High School. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Share this video. Let's go ahead and spread the word about the great things we're doing here at Lafayette High School. Now check out this video right over here. I think you're going to like it because I picked it out just for you. Now, YouTube has picked a mystery video. I have no idea what it is, but it's right down here, and I think you're going to like it as well. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.